Legion takes down a Hellborn Tower! takes down a Hellborn Tower! Piece of cake. Waste of time. Too easy. It's a massacre. This year, share everything. Share brotherly love. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. I was actually uh, just configuring a couple more things still. I'm, uh, uh, once again, not not on the obvious uh, usual Han tour setup, so just uh, configuring some things myself with, with uh, graphics and visuals and uh, also a couple of other things. But hey, so anyways, obviously I'm streaming now and you're on Hauncast, and I figured uh, this being a day, nothing, uh, not much else was planned, so why not step up and... Uh, <laughs> Why not step up and get some in-house league casting going on? Obviously, the in-house league, this is what we talked about this week in Trollfax. You brought it up on our cast. Uh, this is basically, it's a it's a league that's hosted via what's called IRC, actually. It's a chat client where a bot in there is uh, basically organizes matches with captains and whatnot. They select their team, and then they go into Heroes of New Earth, of course, and then uh, play the game. So depending on how they do, they get a certain, it's like it has its own MMR, basically, its own... Uh, rating system and whatnot, so um, it's just a way for for the higher tier of players. Really, I believe you need to be 1850 plus at this point uh, to be able to enter the league in the first place. Uh, to kind of just have their have their own fun, and it's also a banning draft, or actually the game modes as well. So you obviously get to see a lot of diversity and a lot of fun when it comes to just different heroes, different strategies, and whatnot. So uh, really, it's just for fun. I mean, don't expect anything serious today, of course. Uh, with that said, again, just doing a doing a casual setup here, nothing nothing too serious as you can see with the production value and whatnot. Uh, but hey, here here to cast some heroes and newer. So obviously we are already in the game. I, uh, I was, again, I was, uh, was still setting some things up uh, by the time this game started and everything. So, but hey, better late than never. Plan on doing this at least for a little bit today. So definitely expect some uh, some some fun haunt action if anything. Um, I am going to be starting out just solo casting for now. 
Um, whether I'm, I'm eventually going to be joined later on by Trial or even somebody else, uh, we'll see. But again, just uh, having some fun, Castle Mirrors New Earth, and uh, joined by you guys. So, uh, all right. So obviously we're in a game right here. This is a uh, uh, again, an in-house game. I believe Panny and Zince were actually the captains. Zince from Druids, actually. Uh, definitely, uh, and, and Panny, of course. Uh, he's been around the he's been around the block, to say the least, as far as uh, when it comes to a lot of teams. Really good guy over there, um, and uh, he is uh, the captain over here. So, yeah, each team has their captain that actually drafts the team, and then of course does the drafting as well when it comes to the heroes. So. Um, all right, but breaking on this game, as you can see, we're just coming up to the 15-minute mark here. Uh, by the way, I do. I hope my sounds and everything are, are fine. Uh, just let me know if uh, something is a little bit off when it comes to my sound, my mic, or the in-game volume and whatnot. I'll try my best to adjust. And I am using again, once again, a different setup. I'm actually at the studio, but just using uh, my own computer and everything. We're not using any of the fancy Conquer stuff. So, uh, anyways, Conger gonna go down right there. The Hellborn team, uh, Zince team, you could say. The Hellborn team actually, Ophelia's gonna get cut out right here. In comes Alonia with the nuke and actually Hammerstorm with a follow up. Gonna take down Ophelia. Uh, we do see the kill right there. Actually, and a Soul Reaper picked up the token of life. The Minotaur stun is gonna come up. But Soul Reaper is trying to survive right here, trying to get away. The Legion team is in hot pursuit though. Missing up with the camera right there. Uh, Cthulhu fall with the return though. There goes the obliterate being activated. Soul Reaper with a boom goes to dynamite. Not enough for the kill, however. And it looks like Hammerstorm will stay alive. So pretty chaotic fight coming out right there. Uh, but when it's all said and done, I think the Legion team definitely accomplished quite a bit. Of course, not only getting the two hero kills, but obviously getting the token of life to be used right away. So uh, again, joining up late and now just kind of looking at the big picture is where this game is at. Uh, it looks like a pretty even game so far. Uh, I mean, you're looking at the lineups. You got Panny here playing Alonia. Uh, Master of Arms being played by Sender. Fabelli, actually. Fabelli, this is a player that he's been, he's definitely had one of the highest MMRs lately, I believe, in Heroes of New Earth. And uh, there's been a lot of talk about this guy. And he really hasn't played a whole lot of the competitive scene, though. But he is a part of Druids, and I believe he has been, you know, playing with their roster. Druids actually did make the Diamond Division for Cycle 3. Uh, but from my understanding, well, actually, according to the brackets, obviously, uh, they are now officially. Uh, done with the cycle, but they are going to be remaining in diamond as a result of uh, how well they did So I'm very curious to see this Druid's team especially now. Uh, hopefully come the next cycle We can actually take a look at better look at them to see what uh, they truly are about But anyway Bassett's uh, here from pencils gonna be playing Hammerstorm and then of course Zai playing the wild soul Zai playing the wild soul man just realizing that holy crap how does Zai get his Wild Soul in an in-house? That's pretty damn crazy, especially with Banning Draft. The yes. There's I'm some background the noise. I the uh, obviously, the stream starting in the background. And tell me about the features of my car. And we're just going to let that commercial... Oh, never mind. I can take care of it right there. So there you go. Uh, oh, yeah. Anyways, uh, we did see a kill here at the top lane. While well, I was making some adjustments right there, Polywalk Priest obviously using the wards. Polywalk Priest being played by Ryze there. So now going over to the Hellborns team, you got Zince playing that Cthulhu font. Carmadias playing Demented Shaman, Riser on Polywalk Priest, Thane on Ophelia, and Heimer. Great Heimer on Soul Reaper, actually. So I believe Heimer is streaming as well. And again, it, winning the Entertaining Streamer of the Year, according to our Honcast rankings, or uh, Honcast Yearly Awards, I guess, for 2012. Very deserving. I was actually just watching him earlier today and once again laughed my ass off. But uh, anyway, speaking of Heimer, he's actually you know playing the Soul Reaper here again, and he's getting very close to finishing a Sheep Stick, it looks like. He's got the Acolyte Staff, the Blessed Orb. Cleaning up some Ancients right here and actually has enough for the Mana Tube now, so expect that Sheep Stick uh, to be coming out here shortly for Heimer on the Soul Reaper. In fact, there you go with the Mana Tube purchase. We're only 18 minutes into this game. Soul Reaper already has that Sheep Stick farming 490 gold per minute. Pretty damn ridiculous. He is a top farmer in the game, but actually Fabelli on Zephyr, though, is definitely up there as well. 486 gold per minute is actually just right behind him, and you see Fabelli's items. Uh, definitely impressive in its own right. Of course, the Helm of the Black Legion going the Firebrand route, and uh, I would assume that I, that axe of the uh, wow, the uh, Ogre Axe is going to turn into. Hey, what did I just say? Ogre Axe, holy crap! Mighty Blade <laughs> is going to turn into a, uh, a Frostburn actually, eventually. So uh, we'll see. Possibly that we're going to be coming out. In fact, there you go. There's a Frostburn finish right there, coming out for Fitbelly. The Hellborn team right now. They are going to group up as a team. Actually make a push right here, because of the fun tapping in. Here goes Hammerstorm with the initiation the stun on a Soul Reaper. Master of Arms going to use the Master's Call defensively on a Wild Soul right there. As he was starting to take a little bit of pressure. Does he have the Mock of Brilliance, by the way? No, he actually went the Soul's Bulwark route first. So, play the Greaves on himself and the Soul's Bulwark on the Bear. So, Zai doing something a little bit different here than uh, the usual. I kinda, I'm kind of i not sure if he was jungling or if he actually was suicide in this game. Uh, but actually, another Hammerstorm stun. They're trying to hold off this tower, but uh, what cost right here? Bassett's in a little bit of trouble. He's going to be stunned. There's the stun. Trample as well. We're going through the fall. The lockdown with the tongue tied. And Hammerstorm will fall right there. So, not only losing the tower, but also losing his life. Boo Boo's also going to be locked down here. 
And actually, we do see about to pause the game. So I believe Panny actually timed out. He's going to talk about it in the chat. Cthulhu Fun dropping quickly. Unbreakable, not enough to save the Typhoon from Zephyr. And Zephyr wants some blood right here. He's going to try to go for a sword for now. But the tongue tie from Polyball Priest locking him down once again. Now Zephyr is on the run. And he should be fine when it's all said and done doing the gobble gobble thing. But uh, you see Wilds are also still up. So right now, there's only uh, three players up as a result of actually Panny being DC'd there. As you can see, the vote does fail though, so not even going to pause the game apparently, even though Panny is DC'd. Obviously, again, it is an in house match, so it's not your most serious tournament match ever. Uh, so I guess really not necessarily the biggest deal in the world. Um, but uh, I do find it a little bit odd that they're <laughs> not uh, actually pausing for him. But looks like he is actually reconnecting into the game. And uh, we. And uh, they'll be good to go as far as full strength, but they do hold off the eventual tower, or the base push, I should say. So good job for them. Fibelli on that Zephyr, definitely doing quite a bit with that Typhoon, as we saw. So, um, And again, you see, going back to the gold per minute chart, him and both Soul Reaper do continue to climb up and up when it comes to uh, when it comes to their farm. So Soul Reaper, already another 2,000 gold saved up, actually. Uh, again, after finishing the Sheep Stick, so... I see a gust attempt right there, trying to catch Ophelia, being played by Fane there, but just out of range, so uh, Fane will survive. Going to be good to go. But yeah, Wild Soul, going the, going the Souls Bulwark crowd, and not, not the usual mocker brilliance. And that's another thing about these in-houses. Uh, not only can you expect to see some different heroes, as again you see in this game, of course, but uh, there's different item builds as well and whatnot. Again, when, when you're not taken as seriously as your tournament match, where you're doing everything it takes to win, uh, you, you can expect to see some different item builds, uh, kind of being a little bit more fun with uh, their style of play as well as, uh, but at the same time, still powerful. I mean, it's not like they're completely trolling, so, uh, you know, nothing wrong with the Souls Borg, of course, first on the Wild Soul, as well as play the Gears on himself again, just making them a little bit tankier against this Hellborn team. So, uh, we do see uh, Wild Soul, speaking of him, he's kind of uh, distracting right here, trying to take out some Hellborn creeps here in the jungle, but... Could through the fun and Demented Shaman run over and kind of distract that right there. So, not going to be happening much more. All right, so plenty of action happening right there, but once again, calming things down. So again, uh, if you are just tuning in, I'm sure more and more viewers. I I did the the delay is actually on. I, I kind of forgot about that when I started up the stream. Not not again. That's uh, that's probably for the good in the end. Uh, I, I usually don't like to have delays over casts like these, but oh well. So I won't be able to instantly respond to you guys by any means, but. Um, so with that said, if the uh, sound is uh, a little bit uh, off or whatnot, then it might take me a little bit to make the adjustment. I might actually, I might actually restart the stream. And with that said, after this match here, to just make it live. So yeah, because again, with it being in house, it's it's not really a serious game. It's not the biggest deal, and uh, we can definitely cast without having the delay. They, like I said, there are players even in this game. I Heimer for one is streaming himself without it. So playing first person, so I'll probably turn it off after this game, but for now, I'll just keep this going and I'll let it play itself out. Ophelia, in the meantime, going to be jumped here in the top lane. Fane will... Oh, the heal's coming out. Actually, the Ophelia heal going to come out on top of that. The Energizer was used, and holy crap, Fane actually living right there. Meanwhile, in the middle lane down here, you are going to see a kill in a Wild Soul, and now Zephyr getting caught up by himself. It looks like he is going to be able to just barely get away. Sword for... Oh, he doesn't have the ultimate. I was going to say, that was a sure kill, but I guess he just used it on a Wild Soul earlier. But they are now going to pressure the base, so yeah, YOLO indeed coming out for Fane, somehow surviving that gank attempt as Ophelia, healing himself up with the Ashlife and his own heal, of course, and uh, managing to stay alive, and that was a great distraction, because we see what happened here in the middle lane, we do see Initiation, though, Shrunken Head on a hammer storm, Typhoon coming out from Zephyr, the Gust back in, says, get back here, bitch, Soul Reaper is probably going to fall right there, in fact, there we go, Alonia coming out with the nuke, but she will fall as well, Trample from Cthulhu Fun trying to get away, he's going to go for the Homecoming Zone, poor, not going to happen, though. And a he will eventually fall. So again, another base of push temp coming out here from the Hellborn team. But it's not able to go through. And uh, the Legion side here is going to start pushing things back. So uh, once again, though, we do see initiation. Zephyr actually going to be jumped. Sorper did buy back. He's ready to go back in this fight. He does not have his demonic execution just yet. But he's going to do a lot of damage right here. Hammerstorm's going to end up falling. Great assistance for both Polywalk Priest and Ophelia, of course. So again, this just, just continues to be a pretty damn crazy and chaotic game here uh, between these two teams. Again, another thing you can expect when it comes to in-house matches. So, oh, excuse me there. So, uh, Ophelia is actually, ooh, I don't know about that. So, Reaper is being ported back to base by Ophelia, and uh, he had full life and full mana. I guess he was, actually, that was made sense because he's going to farm up this uh, 
bottom creep wave right here, so I don't know if that, I thought for a second that might have been a troll, but nope, Heimer, I'm sure, wanted to go up there and uh, get some more farm, so speaking of that, he uh, still remains the top farmer in the game, but it's uh, uh, Fibali on Zephyr is actually continuing to catch up and up and hanging in there as far as very close. Both are over that 500 gold per minute mark, so very impressive there. Blessed Orb for Soul Reaper again on top of the Sheep Stick, so Getting pretty tanky from that, and my guess, uh, I guess with this Blessed Orb, possibly going to be going that in Nullstone right now, perhaps. As far as his follow-up goes. So Shrunken Head picked up on the Zephyr right here, after he finished that Frostburn. Feeling it necessary to get the Shrunken Head, and can't blame him, especially when you look at this Hellborn team more and more. I mean, uh, it's a, a, lot of, a lot of magic damage coming out all throughout it, really. So, definitely makes sense as to why Fibeli feels that is necessary, of course. Puzzle Box picked up on Wild Soul, so... He, again, really, really going a different route here, but uh, is that a level 1 puzzle box? Yeah, currently a level 1 puzzle box. Look forward to seeing Zai and how he uses that. Again, I still can't believe Zai got Wild Soul in a banning draft game in in-house. <laughs> I still talk about uh, one of the most powerful hero player combinations in the game right now. So, talk about one of the most powerful heroes in the game right now. How is he not banned for that matter? Uh, anyways, we do see Congress is going to be attempted right here. Again, coming out from T... Or, I don't say TD Esports. It is not TD Esports. This is the Hellborn team. And, uh... Indeed, Congra may fall. Though the Legion team going to react, but we just see the Energizer is going to be his Master Ross. going to be jumping there. Sheepstick coming out. There's that Shrunken at Zephyr, though. Doing his Turkey Zephyr thing, but he's going to get caught out. Is it going to be enough for the kill? The Demonic Execution not going to be used, of course, with the Shrunken Head up. Ophelia coming out with the heal. Zephyr needs to be careful. Demonic Execution is up. The Soul Reaper wants to get it off, but no, Zephyr's going to barely get away. In the meantime, in the meantime, Hammerstorm's going to get caught out, and he will eventually fall. You see the Legion team continuing to be on the run. Nice trample right there from Cthulhu, not only saving himself, but actually doing some stun and some damage to the Legion team. Meanwhile, at the top lane, though, Zai was doing his own thing. He is actually pushing into the base, and it is very proving to be very effective. As you do see, he is going to get the tower kill and actually even apply a little bit of damage to the melee racks right here. So the lack of homecoming stones from the Hellborn side really hurting them right here. And Zai takes advantage. Now he's in a little bit of trouble, but no, he's going to be fine as Ophelia will actually fall back. So great distraction at least coming out, and Zai was able to accomplish quite a bit right there. As in fact, uh, the Legion team is the uh, first team to get a base tower kill as a result of that. So... Again, very, uh, very good play on their part. So uh, we do see actually initiation down here, and it is going to be Panny, going to be dropping on Alonia. Going to Alonia, one of these heroes we never really get to see. Uh, playing the support Alonia, I know that she has potential to be more of a middle solo hero as well, and a lot of nuke damage from her. So, but playing the support Alonia, of course, doesn't seem to be having the strongest of games here. We will see. Boo Boo is actually going to be locked down here as Congo does go down. Of course, Soy for again another token of life onto him. Uh, Boo Boo is going to be hexed even. They really want to kill Boo Boo here. He's going to be pushed forward from the trample and he will eventually fall. Uh, so good catch. And actually, Zai's cooldown is on 40 seconds still. So he will not have his bear for another 35 seconds and counting. And uh, we'll see if the Hellborn team really tries to take advantage of that. EDC is out right now on Wild Soul. He is actually heading towards the top lane even. He does have the Puzzle Box though, so Puzzle Box level 2, so I mean technically he can do something. Unlike what you would usually see with the Wild Soul, or if his bear dies, then uh, he really doesn't accomplish a whole lot. So, uh, And he is going to go to the top lane with that said, and he's going to try to once again keep the pressure up while his base is being pushed in. So once again we'll see how... Um, how much this actually uh, accomplishes for his team, but the Hellborn side, they're not going to care about it too much. They're going to use the Energize here. Start pushing in right here. No barrier idol use just yet coming out from Ophelia. As we do see, the wards are down. The Demon's Tower going to be using Water Belly Sword for in the front. Gonna get, he has a token alive, so not that ward. The tower will go down. Meanwhile, Zai going to kill the melee racks at the top lane. And here we go with the initiation. Hammerstorm jumping in onto Ophelia right there. Sword for going to start being uh, locked in a little bit. Dropping below half life. Hammerstorm doing so much damage with that other Parasite. And now he's going to start to get a lot of damage himself, however. The Typhoon is out from Zephyr. Sorry for comes back up. Go through the pod, still alive. Zephyr being locked down. Sorry for has a demonic execution. Zephyr will end up falling as a result of that. And that's very good news, of course, for the Hellborn team. But look at what Zai did. He took out the racks himself. So it ends up being a set of racks for a set of racks when it's all said and done. So I still don't think that's the worst deal in the world. I mean, uh, that was actually pretty solid play coming out right there. Uh, specifically from Wild Soul. Uh, granted, if he was there in the fight at the base, you know, maybe they could have even won that and pushed it out, but, hey, you know, he got it, he got it racks for racks exchange, not too shabby right there, so definitely, definitely making some big plays happen uh, when it's all said and done, so well played on uh, 
Just taking care of something right here. Well played on, uh, well, both teams' parts, really. This, again, they both actually accomplished quite a bit right there, and this game continues to be very even. Now, just uh, coming up to about 29 and a half minutes in here, we are actually pretty much identical goal score and about a 2,300 uh, experience lead in favor of our Hellborn team. I keep wanting to say certain tags, like druids and whatnot, because, see, the tags, you're just so used to that nowadays, but we'll call this uh, Team Shenanigans over here on the Legion team, and uh, Chargers on the Hellborn team. No, that's just weird. Uh, we'll call the Hellborn team Team Culver's. I don't know why. We have a Culver's nearby. It's a fast food restaurant. <laughs> I'm thinking fast food. I know. I know the community's going to have fun with that. Anyways, Shenanigans versus Culver's here. Shenanigans leads in Culver's Hellborn. Alright, so uh, what more do we have as far as what to talk about? We got Master of Arms. We got to see the carry Master of Arms yesterday being played by Slicks. That was pretty awesome. For Stay Greening. Those videos are up if you did. If you haven't checked them out yet, I do apologize. I probably will spoil them, uh, so. But hey. Should have watched it live. No, but, um. No, it was an awesome, awesome weekend we had all together. I mean, definitely check out any of the VODs. Even if you know the results, honestly. They were just some great matches all throughout uh, that we were able to cast and watch. So, uh, definitely, definitely watch them and have some fun with that. Uh, Wild Soul trying to be sneaky up here. He does have a level 3 puzzle box now. Uh, he's going to send in the boo, boo to the top. Again, he is in the top lane still. Obviously, with the racks already being down, we'll see what he's able to accomplish with this. I mean, really just keeping the creep wave pushed up and uh, keeping the pressure on for the Hellborn team. What do you see in the middle lane, though? Zephyr does get caught out catching the tail end of that, but that is unfortunate. With Zephyr down, he does not have a buyback, actually. This is going to be big here for uh, Team Culver's, actually, as uh, they are possibly going to be able to take advantage of this now. You know what would be easier? Team Zince. Let's just do that. <laughs> Let's just go by the captains. That makes a lot more sense. So Team Zince over here. Uh, they get they get the pick on Zephyr, and he's down for another 45 seconds of counting. Uh, we'll see how much damage they're able to make out of this. Now, again, you see the Hellborn base, and actually a lot of pressure being applied by Zaya up here by himself. So playing a very smart Wild Soul, taking making the best of a uh, uh, bad situation right now for his team. As you do have... Hollywalk Priest is actually here to defend her best. She does have a post haste as well, so we'll be able to port in if she finds it necessary. Polywalk Priest is actually going to jump into Wild Soul right here. They're all going to start porting in, and Wild Soul is in a lot of trouble. Tongue tight coming up. Polywalk Priest dropping to the bear, but it's not going to be enough. Will Zai be able to get away? Sheepstick going to be right there. Demonic Execution, I'm sure, going to be coming out any second. No, it's actually on cooldown. Zai going for the chase, wants to go Polywalk. He got the offensive master's call to help, and Polywalk Priest with the portal key. Look at that kite coming out from Polywalk, and in the end, Zai will fall. And Polywalk Priest will stay alive. So the distraction does get them all to port back, actually. And they do uh, stop the... It, stop, it stops the Hellborn team. It stops Team Zince here from actually uh, continuing to push into the base. So still some good coming out of that there from uh, from our Legion... or Yeah, from the Legion side, at least, despite the death on the Zai. But ultimately, uh, if your Team Zince, you're pretty happy with that. Meanwhile, so we're going to have another catch. Hammerstorm going to be jumped now. Tongue Tech going to be used on top of that Dimension Shaman. And Ophelia here for the assistance, and there was no chance for Bassets to get it's away from that. So the catches just keep keep happening here in this game. Uh, we have a 20 to 12 hero kill advantage in favor of uh, the Hellborn side. Now coming up to about 33 minutes in here. Gonna be in the solo cast and all. Gotta occasionally get dehydration, so we'll be a little bit down there. That's a trippy game. <laughs> When he was playing it, it was a lot faster. <laughs> Sorry, getting distracted there. Alright, so we do see the Hellborn team now. Uh, again, kind of grouping up here at the bottom lane. Obviously, Zephyr is back up now, as well as Wild Soul for that matter. Now, Hammerstorm is not, though. A Barry Idol is going to be used here at the bottom lane. You see Alonia trying to spam out the creep wave, but not going to be good enough. The base is uh, going to start taking a little bit of damage. Boo Boo's going to be hexed right there. That's a big ass frog coming out. Uh, Boo Boo will, of course, be fine, though. Boo Boo going back in now. Uh, the cooldown for the bear, it is, it is on cooldown, actually, for quite a long time. So, Wild Soul does need to be very careful about that. And that's some good pressure being put up by the Hellboy team. As a result, Tower's going to go down. But here we go, Initiation once again coming out from Amazon. Probably by Priest jumping in as well. They're going for the Ophelia, actually. But Storm Spirit is going to be used. A Typhoon is down from Zephyr. The new Gust didn't get the kill on Dimension Shaman. Actually, take a Soul Reaper as well. That's a big kill, of course, coming out. And the Legion team looks like they're going to make a solid hold here. Cuts to the bar going all in. He wants the Melee Rax. Will he get the Melee Rax? It's going to be close. No, he will not. The Melee Rax will barely stay alive. We see Ophelia right here trying to juke and jive. Hammerstorm stun hits, though. 
and Ophelia will fall as well. So again, damage done here by the Legion team, holding it off as far as their racks falling. And now they are going to counter push. Heimer cannot buy back here on Soul Raper. Everyone else can, but Heimer cannot, and he's of course a big part of the Hellborn team right now. So uh, we'll see what actually happens here. They are going to apply the pressure, and you got to expect to at least Cthulhu Fun and Ophelia to buy, or I guess Ophelia can't either. So it's really just Cthulhu Fun as Dementia Shaman is going to be resurrecting here shortly. Cthulhu Fun, yeah, he's going to buy back there. Really didn't have a choice here. They need to stop this push from happening somehow by the time for Soul Reaper to get up. If anything, he has about 20 seconds coming here. We do have Polywalk Freeze jumping in with the Hex. A great trample from Cthulhu Fun, actually, but again, they don't expect to get any kills here, more so just distracting. To buy the time for that. Soul Raper, Hammerstorm gonna be jumped on. Shrunken Head's gonna be activated though. Elder Parasite activated as well, because Thilufa does have his W up though. So mitigating a lot of damage. Paul Buffy's jumping back in. Uh, we do see a couple more kills happening, but now Fibelli's on the run. Hex gonna come out. Soul Raper is back in the fight, but I don't know if he's gonna get close enough. When it's all said and done, or actually, might a nice tongue tie coming out right there from Polywalk Priest. Demonic execution is ready. There's the demonic. No, there it is actually, and down goes Zephyr. So a great catch coming out right here from the Hellboy team. Zephyr is down. He does have a buyback himself, however. But if anything, they're going to force him to use it. So an excellent hold right there from Team Zense. I mean, you could definitely say perhaps Team Panty's hanging in there a little bit too long, but uh, they hold it off and buy the time for the story for sure enough to come back up and eventually fight back. So. Uh, we'll see if now they can force the buyback from from Zephyr here. He does have, again, about 50 seconds remaining before he is going to be resurrecting. So, at the very least, forcing the buyback is something they really want to accomplish here. So, we will see if uh, they do so. Wild Soul is going to be Sheepstick here at the bottom lane on top of the Hex. He is going to be completely locked down, and despite being so damn tanky, Zai on Wild Soul will fall. He, by the way, he has a portal key. <laughs> Wild Soul going the classic Portal Key Puzzle Box Level 3 route here as far as uh, his item build. And my guess for that is he just simply wants to be really crafty as far as backdooring and whatnot here in uh, this in-house league match. But uh, although earlier he definitely accomplished that, you can say at the, the top, not necessarily backdooring, but just distraction. He hasn't really been able to take advantage of that portal he just hit. It seems like, and dying right there, he also is dead. Now, Zephyr is going to be resurrecting in three seconds, so he wasn't forced to use a buyback, but their melee racks is going to fall here, and nothing they can do about it. The ring tracks can go down as well, and right now, Team Zense is uh, definitely having the upper hand here as a result of that uh, over Team Panty. Energizer used by Ophelia right there to help her get away a little bit. As uh, we see Alonia throwing out a random nuke, not going to connect though. But again, uh, Hammerstorm up here trying to be a little bit sneaky. But he's going to start falling back. And uh, instead, clean up the jungle creep camp. So, man, this is an intense game. Uh, again, these in houses definitely can turn out to be this way. We're just a crazy intense games here. And uh, I know I did, didn't know what I was getting myself into, apparently. <laughs> just coming on, figuring to have a casual, you know, a nice little fun cast here. But. These guys are just really going at it, not not giving me any downtime to stop here as far as action calls go. So, uh, Polywar Priest actually avoiding uh, a little bit of initiation right there, but Alonia getting the bait going on. Cthulhu Fun out trying to assist. He doesn't have mana, however. And that probably will be the saving grace for Alonia, especially with the hasty and trample attempt. Not even close coming out from uh, Zince right there. And so, panning on Alonia will be more than fine. Good, good for him. It looks like we're getting a decent viewer count now. I didn't even advertise this yet, I don't believe. So, actually, let me go ahead and do that. Let people know what's up. There we go. So. Yeah, I mean, you got to give the advantage right now to the Hellborn side. Obviously, with the, both the bottom and the middle being cleared out. And the stats in general are in their favor. I will say the Legion side, you, you can argue that they have the uh, better carry potential. you got your Wild Soul. you got your Zephyr, your Hammerstorm. I mean, a lot of carry potential over there. But speaking of, uh, well, that's actually Boo Boo. The Bear is going to get caught out once again. But look at how fast Boo Boo is, especially with those Ghost Marches. He literally runs at haste speed at 522 movement speed. So not going to be able to stop him, and he'll easily get away. Uh, once again, though, Congor is going to be attempted, and this, I believe, is the third Congor attempt. It's going to be coming out here uh, from, uh, from, or in this game for that matter, and of course that means the Bananas, good old Bananas, B-A-N-A-N-E-S, as uh, No Doubt, what's her name? I just know her as No Doubt, not us. I'm blanking on her name now. Wow. Quint yeah, what is it? Gwen Stefani, that's what it is. 
Gwen Stefani. As Gwen Stefani taught us. Bianis. All right, bananas are gonna drop though. Token of life will go to Soul Reaper. Who got the bananas? Who the hell got the bananas? No one got the bananas. Did they destroy it? Okay, I was gonna say, yeah, Polywar Priest picks it up. This is the left of my house. <laughs> I could have sworn that was the third. I even saw it on the ground, but I guess they just didn't pick it up. Polywar Priest has the bananas now. And even better news, of course, for uh, Team Zints over here on the Hellborn side. So for now, uh, the Hellborn team going to try to push back their lanes most likely, specifically this top lane, and then uh, perhaps eventually try to just finish this game here with the either a push straight for the World Tree or even just pushing out the top lane, of course, with the, being the last set of racks up there. Zai, again, being crafty here with this Porta Key of his. He's, uh, Porta oh, he's going to go deep beyond. Uh, he's using the trees up here, and he's going to try to perhaps sneak in from behind. <coughs> Uh, on Wild Soul, so we'll see his next portal key cooldown. Gonna keep going right here. Sure enough, he is, so. Ozai. Ozai, you and your tricks. We'll see uh, how how much this accomplishes. Again, he does have a level 3 puzzle box. He's got his bear, of course. He has potential to do a lot of damage very quickly here against this Hellborn team. Granted, they, they should have invulnerability. Of course, they got Homecoming Stones, they got Post Ace on Polywire Priest and Soul Reaper, so. Uh, if anything, this could just be a distraction, but he will need to do it fairly quickly because if you see right here, the Hellborn team, they are actually going to start breaking into what is the third and final auto tower here. Or not even auto tower, base tower, I should say. Coming out here for, uh, for Team Panty, so that Porta Key cooldown, maybe a couple more blinks and he should be good to go. But here we go, the tower is going to start taking some damage, so level 3 wards are down from Riser on the Polywalk Priest. And there you go with the Legion Team of Vulnerability, but here goes Wild Soul now. He's going to go right for the deep of the tower at the Shrine and going to go for the back door. The Hellborn team has a big decision to make right here because they may lose this race if they're not careful, actually. The Sheep's are going to be using the Master of Arms. We do see a poor pack coming up right here, actually, by Polywalk Priest, but still the deep of the tower dropping. Wild Soul realizing his time is up, though. He will start falling back, but the Legion Team cleaning up over here. They take out Sorry for once. The Token of Life bringing him back up. Will they get a second kill? There's that cuffs back in. Sorry for that now. He's going to fall right no with the ported back. He was ported back. He demonic execution right before, though. But it didn't even get the kill. Ophelia will fall as Alunia also goes down. But where would it... So, sorry for... Where the hell did he go? Okay, yeah. He got ported back, and then he post-tasted back in, I believe. Right there, so... But, oh, he's going to get caught out, actually. And sorry for... Might die once again. No, I don't know. Just say once again, but he will die right there. Holy crap. What a crazy finish we are having here. Again, look at the damage that Zai did. The defensive tower at the Sacrificial Shrine. It's down to only 460 life. There's only one up. And that was old Wild Soul right there, baby. Doing the backdoor strategy. So, uh, this is this is definitely going to be an exciting finish. Especially if Zai pulls something like that off again. If he can do it without the invulnerability being up, he, will, he really will decimate that... Uh, tower and the shrine as we even saw so did I say rift shards yeah rift shards picked up on hammerstorm by the way level three rift shards and there you go level four actually Dawnbringer finished on zephyr so with that said this obviously isn't a tournament rules game and you could uh, you can see both uh, heroes that you um, aren't even eligible in uh, on Han tour as well as uh, items such as Dawnbringer so, and of course, Dawnbringer seems like it would be a very powerful item for a hero like Zephyrs. Master of Arms in the meantime at the top lane. He's going to get caught out and actually will fall to Riser playing that Polywalk Priest. So, good catch coming up from him. And the action just continues here in this very chaotic, and what continues to be a very, very chaotic game here between these two teams. So, uh, we do have, uh, ooh, look at it again, Zai being sneaky. He's trying to go a different route, figuring uh, that the uh, Lee Hellborn team was probably aware of what he did last time. But here he goes from behind. There's a portal key. Yes, he does make it in there without being spot. <laughs> oh, Zai is just so fun to watch when he's doing things, that, things like this. Um, all right, so, but, okay, so he's probably going to portal key around here, and then, yeah, just just go straight for the tower. There's no point for him to obviously go for this bottom tower and for the racks. At this point, uh, just going straight for the shrine is really what the... Uh, Pressure will be all the bout. So, once again, using the portal key here and uh, just trying to get close enough. What, what does this bear have, by the way? It's still just a Ghost March of Souls bulwark. So, this bear is not even that built up, but it still does plenty of damage, of course, especially with that demolish ability. So, again, being sneaky here, we'll see. Uh, now, if the Hellborn team isn't actually pushing into the Legion base, it's not going to be as effective, I wouldn't think. So, he, if anything, he might need to just simply wait for. 
uh, Team Zince to actually commit to a push before he starts his uh, little little sneaky play here. Because if he goes for it right now, say, I mean, this Hellborn team will easily react to it and really won't accomplish a whole lot. So uh, he's just going to kind of chill here for now. He's uh, definitely thinking the same thing. Uh, we do have Polywalk Priest actually falling back right here. But uh, just going to get some regen and perhaps uh, some a new item of his. He does have a staff in the Master, by the way. Speaking of item pickups, I haven't touched on that. Uh, now this one, I guess, kind of different Legion team, but you do see the uh, <laughs> Hellborn side. I mean, anything new on their side? Not really. And that stands out. Okay, I mean, Ophelia is pretty much full items. You have Cthulhu font with that plate f or plate meal. Very likely, uh, Frost Shield put in the works. All right, so actually, Sai is spotted right here by the courier. So the jig is up, man. Uh, we do see the courier again get a spot him, and now Wild Soul very likely gonna fall <laughs> right here. So Zai's, uh, Zai's backdoor plans, unfortunately, ain't gonna, ain't gonna accomplish here. He is gonna get demonic execution, and he will fall, so he does not, no, he does have a buyback. Wow, 1,300 gold, not for a buyback. That's actually, feels like at this point, that's actually should be a little bit too low, but hey, he has enough for the buyback, according to, uh, the blue little circles here, as you can see, so. We'll see if he chooses to do that, or if... For that matter, if it comes to that time where he actually needs to, it might not actually even be necessary at this rate. Now, Druids, or yeah, not Druids, Team Zince here is uh, going to push back this top lane, though. Of course, that makes sense. Not only is that where their racks are down on their side, but obviously that's the only one that's up here for the Legion team. And they are exposed, by the way. So the tower has been destroyed, of course. Racks are exposed. You even see the Energizer being used by Ophelia right there, just helping to push the creeps and their heroes that much faster. So this is going to be a uh, this is going to be a, a very a very fun finish here, I'm sure. So we'll see. Oh, timeout on Fibelli. That's not good. That is not good timing right there. No, at least they weren't fighting yet, or at least they like weren't actually in the base. That would have just been horrific right there if uh, he was actually in the base. So I have no clue what that guy said, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Even though I don't understand it, I'm sure people do. Um, but yeah, so he is reconnecting right away though, so that's the good news. Ain't gonna have no 10-minute pauses here, Han Tour style. Just the quick resume, and then we're good to go. So uh, once he's back in, in fact, it looks like he is good to go. The Hellborn team will get an unpause here, and they're gonna they're gonna push into the base. So this could very likely be the game right here in this in-house league match. We'll see. So, as far as, uh, I mean, again, as far as plans for today, not, nothing necessarily uh, officially on the docket. It's just uh, simply, if anything, this. I mean, just having some fun with some in-house matches today. Um, oh, we times that again, actually. Yeah, so, obviously, having some internet troubles there. But, uh, the I believe, is Greek, by the way, as is Panty. Shout out to the Greeks everywhere. Greek pride, yo. Um... But yeah, I mean, today it's just simply just having some fun, relaxing, and just uh, these style of casts. And uh, tomorrow we do plan on doing the Gold Division, actually. A gold Division matchup tomorrow. I believe that's set for 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. I think that's uh, 2200 Central European time. So, And then, of course, next weekend is when Han Tour Diamond Division resumes. Starting on Saturday, which it's going to be a fun finish, man. For those, again, just spoiler alert here, so go ahead and mute it real quickly if you don't want to be spoiled. But um, the uh, cycle number three, man, it's turning out to be interesting. It really is. It's turning out to be uh, very fun because uh, TT Esports defeated Trademark Esports in the winter semifinals, and then Stay Green defeated Complexity in their semifinal matchup. So both of, they're they're going to make TT Esports and Stay Green will meet up in the winner's bracket finals, whereas Complexity and TDM both knocked down to the loser's bracket. Did not see that coming. And, of course, what that means is that we are officially going to have a different grand final matchup here between uh, it's either going to be State Green or TT Esports versus somebody else. It's not going to be our Complexity TDM, which we've had the first two cycles. So it is, it is cool to see that. I mean, it's definitely cool to see that diversity. And um, it, it's great to just see for the scene, honestly, as a whole. Uh, we just don't have that one or two dominating teams that win every single time. Uh, honestly, and that this is this is what I expected. So apparently, uh, Fibelli is just uh, Han is having some issues here. 
So, <laughs> you know, I always love that. Oh, he's timing out. Obvious DDoS. <laughs> it's like, jump to that conclusion right away. Hmm. That would really suck if he can't get back in. Because, uh... What was I? You're lying, sir. You are not in their base. Yeah, this was really turning out to be a pretty epic finish right here. If he actually can't get back in, that really does suck. I mean, again, it's ultimately an in-house match. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but um, just for the entertainment's sake. I mean, <laughs> this is going to be a fun finish, and it really does suck that uh, apparently he just is having troubles here as far as reconnecting. So hopefully that can get worked out. But if it doesn't, uh, then to say the least, I should make things that... Now, granted, his hero will still be here, so... Uh, I'm sure, you know, somebody like Panny even, who, you know, playing that Alonia... Eh, sure, she does she does her part, but... It, maybe, uh, her, you know, Panny instead of just playing the Zephyr might make more sense, something like that, so... He is going to reconnect once again here. We'll see if it actually works out this time. It seems like it took a little bit longer, so maybe change some things. So we'll see if he actually fully gets in this time. 36, 44%. It's going up and up. Come on. We're at 50%. Cross the fingers. Let's make this happen. I feel like we need some epic music. I just typed in epic music. So literally what I just did right there. This is what came up. Is he going to return? Or will he time out again? Stay tuned. The finish is yet to come here in this in house league match. This is a battle of epic proportions. There's the timeout. How much more suspense can you handle here? And what is surely to be one of the greatest finishes ever in Heroes of New Earth history! Big Blues! I don't know why I said that. Oh, that was fun. That is some pretty epic music, I must say. That is some pretty epic music. I don't want to keep going. Let's see what else they have. If he can't get back in, then it's, again, my point being that his hero will still be here, so if anything, have, like, a little, or yeah, have Zai for that matter. <laughs> Both micros, Bear and, uh, and Zephyr. <laughs> Do some work here. Yeah, apparently that's something to maybe do with the mentor bug. I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now. This music's kind of loud. It's pretty epic, though. Keeps timing out. What the fuck? <laughs> I ignored that guy, so I didn't even know. I mean, so was he? The 
the conclusion. No Ian Helsing match. Let's get it on. All right. All right, here we go. The Hellborn team started to break into the base right here. There's a sheep stick on a Zephyr coming out. He's going to start falling back, however, in the foreground. We have Hammerstorm up there. Good through the front. Obliterate is activated. Sorry for dropping about half-life. Demonic execution, not enough for the kill on the Zephyr, though. And sorry for throwing up in the air with the start trade. Ophelia Hill coming out. We'll see a left for now. Hammerstorm going to get caught up. Zephyr going back in, but Zephyr will fall. The melee Rax is dead. The range Rax is falling. But look at Wild Saw going for the backdoor strategy. He's going to try to take out the tower. And vulnerability is going to be used. He will get the tower kill, but he's not going to be able to get the shrine, most likely. The Hellborn team is here. They're locking him down. The CC is coming out. Polymar Priest may actually fall. No, he will survive. But the shrine stays alive. So again, Zai doing what he can here for his team to try to, try to make that miracle happen. But uh, Team Zince does react. And now with Mega Creeps. It, it just pretty much got uh, got brutal, got brutal here. I don't see it uh, coming back, unfortunately, so we'll see. I gotta set the music for now. Not an epic moment just yet. Ooh, we do have uh, Alonia, not only level 15 though. Might not be able to gank herself, so. Uh, just gonna kind of wander around for the meantime again, maybe try to, but even by herself with the back door, back dooring, uh, don't think that's, uh, going to work out too well so yeah solar pool is dropping they almost got the kill seemed like but a great storm spirit i believe that was uh ophelia and then her heel actually after and i uh, not sure what panny was doing and again i was kind of very massacre. curious what he was even doing there in the first place and sure enough he uh gets caught out in the hellborn jungle i mean even if you made it to the shrine it's it's alonia you don't expect her to do really much as far as damage goes, so uh, Master of Arms is going to be uh, ulted right there by Soul Reaper. You see uh, Hammerstorm chasing though with that other Parasite. His damage ulti activated, but at what cost right here? Hammerstorm gets turned on. He will fall. Master of Arms getting locked down. Double tap coming up for Riser. Very well played on his part. Zephyr is going to start uh, trying to do what he can here in the background. Shrunken Head is up, but the World Tree is falling, and that should do it. GG well played. And Team Zins, it looks like they will be coming out on top here in this in-house league loss. matchup. So tough that, loss indeed. Uh, an epic battle. And uh, a lot of fun to watch. So yeah, kind of unfortunate there with the disconnect, but you know, might not have been too different in the end there, uh, even if uh, Fibelli was there. So, well, great match there to get things uh, kicked off, at least for the casting today. Again, I uh, plan to do uh, perhaps a uh, couple of these today. So I'm gonna take a short break here, as we always do, play some music and uh, get the next match set up here before we uh, move on to it. So sit tight, guys. Uh, another in-house league more than likely going to be coming up here very shortly. Stay tuned. Oh, that's right. Actually, uh, I, I, I was I was planning to restart the stream, so I think I'm going to do that, actually. Uh, turn off the delay again. There's really no point to have delay when we're doing an uh, in-house match like this. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the delay real quickly, and then I uh, should be back live. So just sit tight, guys.